What's up? 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 I am planning to vlog misconceptions about the seafarers and if you think this is a hit, please comment down below. my domestic flight went through traveling from Manila to Cebu. This includes the necessary preparations and adjustments in order to have a smooth flow and organized flights while we are still under pandemic. Plan when to fly home or go to places in the Philippines. Check for desired schedule and if possible book ahead with leeway. Secure documents and pack things which are necessary and not too bulky. Also don't forget to inform your family or whoever you are going to visit in order for them to inform the LGU. I did not receive any message nor a call from them telling me to revert and go to Terminal 3 for changes. That's why we end up going here. So if you're planning to book a flight flying from Terminal 4, make it sure to ask or contact the airlines or agency in order for you to go straight to your designated terminal, praying that we might not encounter or we will not encounter jam pack traffic proceeding to Terminal 3. I have just ride the shuttle and we are now proceeding to the location where the airplane is situated. Yeah, hopefully 
everything will be fine and looking forward to roam around Cebu again. I actually booked the flight two days ahead of the schedule. I was fortunate that the airlines have a low fare promo wherein I booked my flight for 1,600 pesos, around 30 USD. That includes the 40 kilograms of my luggage, the tax, and other fees with booking online. Check the airlines because schedules differ to what it was before the pandemic. from the check-in counter will give you a form to fill in and will be taken by the stewardess or staff before arriving to your destination. What they need are simply common information about ourselves in order for us to be easily traced when someone in our flight is or become positive of COVID-19. Let's cooperate and be honest in filling out the form. So everything will be okay and everything will be fine. I have just arrived at Pakistan International Airport for almost 4 months of waiting for my embarkation to join the ship. Finally, I am home again. It was a nightmare when I went to Manila. I became positive and everything slowly went unfavorable. Many cancellations, positive IgG result and seeking for help to people so I will have a place to stay. At last, I am home. A place where I started dreaming. Now, I am looking forward to gather better memories through travels and food trips after my home isolation. Yes, oh, no. I will be quarantined for 14 days as per instruction from LGU in Cavite whenever I arrive in my hometown. So, it was heartbreaking. Dreams went down and was collapsed. That's why I decided to come home and let the luck decide for my future. I am thankful after I was quarantined, a friend of mine and my aunt took me in. I was wrecked and totally bankrupt and nowhere to run. But still, I am hopeful that after this pandemic, the table will turn its side on me. This too shall pass. Traveling now is a bit complicated. You need to comply airline requirements as well as LGU of your destination. You need to secure a medical certificate from the barangay noting that you are not a PUI or PUM. Some may require you first to have a barangay clearance before acquiring a medical certificate. After that, you need to bring the certificate to the municipal health center for your certification indicating the instructions and information for your LGU of destination. Lastly, obtain a travel authority pass from the PNP showing your date of departure and purpose of travel. All of these are necessary documents when traveling. Procedures may vary from one LGU to another, but the documents needed are the same. One more thing, don't forget to have a copy of a letter of acceptance 
airlines will check it before allowing you to board the plane. Ask a family member or anyone to secure a copy of your letter. LGU of your destination may request also a copy of your medical certificate. Once everything is set, you are good to go. As you can see, everything seems so quiet, just like in Naia. From a terminal full of passengers and bystanders, now it's almost empty. Plane schedules differ from what we used before. Every day flight now down to 3 to 4 times a week, or, or almost every 2 hours schedule now down to 2 flights a day. For me, this is good. The place is not so crowded, but many people suffered. Many jobs were lost and many opportunities diminished. It is sad seeing how this crisis hit us. The flight was fine, the plane was not full, and I felt the fear at the same time threatened by the virus. I was infected almost 4 months ago and the idea of having it again scares me so hard. I know that airlines keep their places safe and clean, yet we have also to remind ourselves to be attentive and set precautionary measures when traveling. So that's it, my vlog about flying back home in pandemic. I hope you have learned and enjoyed watching it. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click the notification bell so you'll be updated on my coming vlogs. Also, if you think you enjoyed watching this video, kindly click like and share with your friends. If you are interested to know more about my profession and travel vlogs, please comment down below. Again, be vigilant and stay healthy. This too shall pass. See you around mga kalagan. Shout out to Team Ohio and Team Oga. Thank you so much for every support during my live streams before and also whenever I have a premiere, new video uploads. And also to those um, friends, virtual friends I have, thank you so much for being here. See you around soon.